Hello, Zapdosko here, and welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. In this episode, we are going to go through and catch the rarest Pokemon in the game, Mewtwo. So, that's exciting. We've already got all eight badges if you take a look at our screen. And you do need to have all eight badges in order to get into the dungeon where I'm going to go. If you try to get here earlier in the game, they'll just turn you away and say, nope, not gonna happen. Uh, that's probably just as well since the Pokemon in this cave are obscenely high leveled. So, you know. And I'm just walking here because I don't have anything that can fly with me and we're gonna go pick something up so we can take care of this. And just one second, let's... No, mister, you're, you're in my way. Get out of my way. Turn on the PC. And let's pick up whatever we need to pick up. Alright, so that takes care of that. I believe to get through the cave we're only going to need to be able to surf, but I brought Lapras along because it has strength, just in case. And to get there faster, I also brought along our loser buddy Zapdos. Yay, I'm going to heal up quick and then we're going to get moving. And there we go, so let's get going. And we just need to fly to Cerulean. Yeah, this place has been in plain sight the entire time, but until you have all your badges in a row, you can't actually get to it. So that's moderately frustrating. I believe in later generations of the game, it works the same way, although... Yeah, no, I believe it works the same way in later generations of the game that take place in this region. So we just want to walk along, walk, walk, walk. Enjoy the dramatic Cerulean Bridge music one more time, because this is the last time we're going to hear it. And get Lapras out to surf. Resisting the urge to hum along with this. So yeah, I suppose at this point is where I should start getting ready to recollect my thoughts on this Let's Play. It's been great. It really it has. It's, it's been amazing. And hopefully I'd like to be able to keep doing these for a long time. Is there anything out this way? Oh, right. Yeah, no, there's stuff this way, too. But you know what? We're not going to use any of it. We don't even care. Now, you're going to want to make sure that you have all your Pokeballs with you and your Master Ball. It's a good thing I checked, because otherwise I would have gone into this cave without it, and that would have been annoying. One second, I'm going to go get it. I'll be right back. Whoops, that was almost embarrassing. We're going to put up a rappel now, and we are going to head right into the cave. Basically, this cave involves a lot of surfing and dungeon crawling and random Pokemon encounters. In previous, I mean, sorry, in later generations, it's actually a lot more annoying than in this because in later generations, it has Pokemon in it that aren't impacted by Repel. In this generation, I believe it's a fairly straightforward trek from one side of the dungeon to the other. There's also some pretty cool items in here, so I'm gonna show those as I come across them. Musical interlude, I choose you. Okay, and here we are. Sparky thoughts? Sparky likes this, and so do I. That run through the dungeon wasn't quite so bad. In this generation, it usually is a pretty linear path. You rarely get lost in here, because wherever you're going... If you're going to get lost, you'll hit the end of a wall and an item and get stuck, and it's kind of gross, but oh well, whatever. Later generations, like I said, it does get a bit more annoying, but in this one, it's not all that bad. Now this right here is what we came all the way down here for. You'll notice I saved before I talked to this thing, because even with the Master Ball, which I intend to use, there is a slight chance that if you don't get it, I believe it's only a 0.02% chance of this thing escaping the Master Ball, but first play through this game, I was, I believe, 10, it happened. So just be prepared for that. 
And here we go. This is the mother of the... This is the offspring of the mother of all Pokemon. Meet Mew. Mewtwo, sorry. Mewtwo. I confess I actually love the po the entire movie based around this guy. It's, it's awesome. And in this generation, Mewtwo really is a beast. I'll let you take a look at it once we catch it. There we go. Level 70? It's a tank. New Pokedex data will be added for Mewtwo. Genetic type Pokemon. Its DNA is almost the same as Mew's. However, its size and disposition are vastly different. Well, that is how DNA works. You know, chimpanzees, humans, all that fun stuff. We don't want to nickname Mewtwo. It is BAMF enough as it is. Let's just take a quick look at it. It is Psychic type, which in this generation was the best type in the game because there was nothing that it was weak to. Take a look at that special. Yeah, that, that's through the roof. And seeing as Psychic is a special move, your, your Pokemon gets hit by one of these things, it's not living through it. Definitely not pretty. Combine that with the fact that it has Recover, and Mewtwo in this generation is the ultimate BAM. Later generations, they made it so it didn't have any moves other than Psychic that could attack things, and so you could literally go in there with something that was immune to Psychic, say the level 4 Murkrow you could catch outside the cave and whittle it down. Not as impressive. But in this generation, Mewtwo, you're a bath. And that's all for this Let's Play. Thank you so much for watching this Let's Play Pokemon Yellow Pikachu Only Extravaganza. I'm Zapdos Go. If you like this video, check out the rest of my channel. Rate, comment, subscribe, favorite, all that fun stuff. I'm going to be starting an Earthbound Let's Play next week, going into that game blind. Never touched it before in my life, so that'll be a fun time. And I've also got a Portal Let's Play happening right now. So, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Zapdos Go, out.